dual purpose packaging. What the heck is it? Well, let me show you. Took some items from our pantry. A little can of sardines. Coaster. A simple box of fettuccine. The little window in it so you can see the fettuccine. Well, guess what? Coaster. Frosted flakes. You guessed it. Coaster. Seems that everything can be a coaster. Um, how about we let Nick share with you a few better examples about what dual packaging is? I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that there isn't anything more exciting than packaging that serves a second purpose. Whether it's a benefit that helps you use the product, or a completely unrelated extra that makes you think, hey, that's pretty neat. Dual purpose packaging is an innovative way to help provide more for your customers. Let's take a look at a few examples. See if inspiration strikes you. So when I say dual purpose packaging, what I mean is packaging that serves some other purpose other than just containing and protecting the product. For example, check out this pop-up bowl designed by Orville Redenbacher. Here, the traditional popcorn bag is replaced by a bowl that you can eat and share the popcorn right out of. Sure, you can eat the popcorn out of a regular popcorn bag as well, but it's hard to deny that this isn't a better alternative. With this package, you can actually see how much popcorn is popped. There's no need to dirty a bowl if you want to share, and the packaging serves a purpose more than just throwing it away once the popcorn is popped. Another example comes to us from Pizza Hut in Hong Kong, who teamed up with a local advertising agency a couple years ago to bring us the Blockbuster box. This box came with a special lens that could be inserted into a slit in the side to create a makeshift film projector. A smartphone could then be placed behind the lens to allow you and your friends or family to enjoy a big screen movie along with your pizza. Not only does it add a second function, but it also allows for a lot of positive memories to be made. And these can create strong associations between consumers and brands. Finally, getting away from food packaging for a little bit, here's a lighting brand called Wiremakers, I believe? Wire makers really care a lot about sustainability, and a shining example of this can be found in their R16 lamp. This lamp is delivered to customers in a hard cardboard tube. The kicker? That cardboard tube is also the casing that the light will actually be housed in. All you have to do is follow the instructions printed on the cardboard, and you'll find that that plain tube has become a very modern looking light fixture that you can hang from anywhere. They call it zero waste packaging, and it could really be the future of the industry. So I hope you've been given a few good ideas here today. See what you can come up with after a short brainstorming session. I know I've got an idea, but you legally cannot steal it. A refrigerator box that turns into a functioning car. Well, thanks, Nick. Those examples were much better than my examples of packaging becoming coasters. And for all of you out there, look that little like button. And if you're slightly more daring, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you want to hear the latest from the Packaging School, click subscribe so you can be notified whenever some new content is released. And as always, keep calm, carry on, and wash your hands. We'll see you next time.